This video is the big reveal of my new transparent watercolour palette. This video is going to be all about what colours I decide to include in my own transparent watercolour palette. As I mentioned in my previous video, I wanted to put together a transparent palette that has every colour from the colour wheel, plus some favourite colours I just can't live without. I also wanted all my colours to be as transparent as possible. I am going to be using this palette to make artworks that have lots and lots of layers, so transparency was my utmost priority for this palette. So here is me labelling and filling my palette. I apologise for the lighting in this bit. I live in Scotland and sometimes the weather can get very dark indeed. I'm using my favourite Jackson's 28 well palette. I like this palette as the wells are nice and deep. You can also write on the palette with a sharpie, which I like to do to note down details about each paint. It's very easy to remove the writing if you need to change anything as well. All you need is a nail varnish remover and cotton buds and the sharpie will come off very cleanly. I selected 21 colours in the end for myself. It was such a tough process selecting the colours. After hours and hours of testing and trying things, I came to the realisation that I could keep trying to get the perfect palette forever. So. I just had to stop and accept that this palette was going to change over time as I used it. To accommodate for this, I have left spaces in positions I may want to add more colours to. I am still looking for a good transparent cool red, so if you have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments below. I also left a space for a dark brown to come in and for indigo just in case I change my mind. Here are the 21 colours I selected for my transparent palette. Aurelian by Holbein. Now I know Aurelian is notorious for fading quickly or even greying, but this one by Holbein is a hue and is light fast. I'll talk more about this in a follow up video soon. Permanent Yellow Light by Holbein. This is my primary yellow. Permanent Yellow Orange by Holbein. This is my yellow orange. Brilliant Orange by Holbein, this is my red orange. Scarlet Lake by Holbein, this for now is my red, however it's a little too orangey, so I will be on the lookout for a cooler transparent red. If you know of a good one, please let me know in the comments below. Quinacridone Scarlet by Holbein. Quinacridone Rose by Daniel Smith, this is my absolute all time utter favourite colour in the whole world. I would probably put this in any palette even if it didn't fit in. Quinacridone Violet by Holbein. This is my red violet. Carbazole Violet by Daniel Smith. This is a new colour to me and I threw it in this colour just because it was such a gorgeous deep rich purple. Ultramarine Violet by Schmincke. This is my trusty violet. It's not perfectly transparent but it neutralises just right with my primary yellow. Ultramarine Blue Deep by Holbein. This is my blue violet. Again, this is not totally transparent, but it neutralizes perfectly with my permanent yellow orange. Thalo Blue Red Shade by Holbein. Thalo Blue Yellow Shade by Holbein. This is my blue turquoise. Thalo Turquoise by Daniel Smith. This is my third favorite color ever for me, and it's my turquoise in the color wheel. Thalo Green by Schmincke. Hooker's Green by Holbein. This is my green which grays out perfectly with my quinacridone rose better than the phthalo green does. Permanent Green number one by Holbein. This is my yellow green. That's the colour wheels covered and here are some extra colours I've added just because they were so pretty. Gold Green by Daniel Smith. Quinacridone Gold by Daniel Smith. This is my second favorite colour ever. Quinacridone Burnt Orange by Daniel Smith, which I am going to try using in place of the brown. And Antwerp Blue by Winsor Newton, which I'm trying out in place of my usual indigo. Here is the colour chart showing how each colour mixes with all the other colours in the palette. The chart is a hybrid of colour charts created by Denise from In Liquid Colour and Eve from Eve Bulb. 
I'll leave links to the videos where I spotted their beautiful color charts. Instead of putting the same color mix on both the side and the top of the color chart, Denise puts a lighter mix of the same color across the top. This is a great way to see the range of intensity from the color mixes. Eve puts the pure pigments on the side and the bottom right next to their color names, as well as going down the middle of the chart. This actually made the process so much easier for me by reducing the number of errors I would have made otherwise. I drew each square to be 2 cm by 2 cm. It resulted in a huge color chart. But I like it as you can see more textures and color variations at this size. The palette produces a huge range of beautifully intense colors. My only concern is that there isn't many dark shades, so I might throw in one or two colors that are more dark, such as indigo and burnt umber. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the palette and my choice of colors, please ask away in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.